Well then, it's been a while since we made one of these videos, isn't it? For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. It is Sunday, it is 10 a.m. and it's time for I Rate Your Teams. If I'm being completely honest, the whole reason why I've not posted I Rate Your Teams in about six or seven weeks right now is because I have kind of fallen out of love with FIFA a little bit. I'm gaining that love back, um, but... To be honest, a lot of this year to me hasn't been as fun as in previous years uh, due to the, the things like the 5-3-2 meta, how easy it is to defend this year in terms of, you know, AI blocks, um, the through balling and stuff like that. I don't want to sit here and take up your time of me moaning about the game because overall, I don't think it's a bad game. I just think that there are aspects of the game that really irritate me and not being a very good player myself, it's really hard to kind of try and fight the stuff in the game when you don't really know how does that make sense anyway who cares because i rate teams is back i'm gonna be trying to post this every single week i might be posting some on the second channel as well link in the description make sure to check out the second channel um but i just said uh reply to this tweet with a hasty screenshot of your squad to be in i rate teams tomorrow and we got some hasty screenshots we're gonna check them out real quick so we've start starting off with callum's team by the way I already, I see this. I play 5-3-2 in game. Look, I get it. Everyone's trying to win. I'm not trying to say don't try and win. It just, to me, it gets a bit boring when everyone uses the same thing constantly. But then I guess you can also say the same thing to me because I just use Hullet and people like that. So I guess that could be classed as boring. It's one of those. Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and judge you for what you play. If you play it, you play it. If it, if it wins your games, that's the main thing. Uh, but this is this team. You've got 600,000 coins for upgrades. I mean, realistically, what upgrades can you make in this team? I suppose the only thing I can see that you can do in this team, um, Maldini's solid, but I guess you could look at potentially that new Tadebo card. Uh, it's not a terrible card for the price. Um, upon like looking at it, like actually looking at the card for 200k, you might have fodder in the club. It's not a terrible SBC to be fair. Then you could play Furla Mendy over at left back. You could play Rafael Varane left centre back. You could play uh, this new Tadebo card at right back. And then you could play any French goalkeeper and goal, whether you want to go with Hugo Lloris, who's pretty cracked. Uh, whether you want to go with literally any French goalkeeper, or you could even go with, um, I don't know, someone I guess a strong link if there is one. Um, that could be a way to go forward. I feel like with most of these teams, I'm going to get this out of the way straight away before people start crying in the comments about oh but your grades actually are downgrade look this team he clearly knows what he's doing with his team right and he clearly is just like he's got to focus he's you know his team's incredible how do you upgrade with 600k realistically i am not telling you their upgrades i'm just going to say what you can and can't really do uh you know different ways you can go with your squad i'm not sat here saying do this do that but what I am saying is like, you know, you could go down this route. You could change this up. You could change that up. You could change this up. So that is kind of the, the, the goal with this now because we're at a point in FIFA where, you know, most people know where they're going with their team now. Uh, we've got Lewis's team. He says, all in tradable, around 100,000 coins and div one, rank one and gold three min. Also thinking of Curtis Jones. I would say do Curtis Jones. I don't see, I mean, obviously just going to play him over Gundogan, but I mean, I don't see where you get the chemistry. You could potentially go with a different right winger. Um... But yeah, Curtis Jones is cracked. His centre mid card is insane. I haven't tried his left mid card, but his centre mid card is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Probably the closest player that I have used to the likes of a Hullet that isn't a team of the season card or a team of the year card. So like, you know, your team of the years and your team of the seasons are going to be the best cards in the game. But um, it is like the closest card that I've tried. Oops, what have I just clicked? How, how am I doing this? Uh, it's one of the closest cards, cards that I've tried to being close to like Hullet. That isn't like a team of the year card. I think that this Curtis Jones card is absolutely cracked. And I think I like I'd recommend to anyone that's looking for a Premier League centre mid, if you could afford it, if you've got fodder, try and get it. It's a really, really nice card in game. I like it a lot. We have got R33 Ribeiro's team. Just said his team. It's a nice team, mate. Uh, you've already done Rainer. Fair play. Uh, it is solid, you know. Um, I feel like we're gonna see a lot of Ran and Mendes. That's the that was the other thing, like. It got to a point where I was getting really bored with I rate your teams because every team was, you know, Varane, Mendy, Gomez, Semedo, Allison in goal, you know, and it just kind of got really repetitive. So um, a lot of them now, now we've kind of got into what we in February now. Um, a lot of teams have a lot more variation than they did before, but it was getting to a point where it was getting a little bit repetitive. Um, this is Charlie's team. Uh, I'm guessing this is what he plays in game. Alfonso is a centre mid, eh? I've heard a lot about it, that actually. I've heard a lot about Alfonso being a good centre mid. 
Not entirely sure about a Kotra at left mid, but I understand why he's there. Um, here's my my issue with your team here, right? Is that I think that a Kotra is quite a weak left mid. And I think this Rooney card as a striker isn't really it. It's just, I mean, you've got Ronaldo striker anyway. Alfonso's going to carry the midfield. You've got Puskas at the right if you need a support. It's not a big deal. That's my only qualm with this team, but the rest of it is solid. Um, how is Prime check? Goalkeepers are weird this year. They're either good or they're bad for me. And I know that sounds, you know, obviously it's like the most Michael Owen statement ever, but like I've never had like an okay experience with the goalie this year. It's either he's insane or he's absolutely terrible. Uh, next team. I can't see that. I'm sorry. I do apologize. It's Twitter's fault. It's not your fault. I don't know why it posts like that, but it's really stupid. Uh, we've got Serkan's team. He says, swaps Tav and Kleber in game. Also, Puskas and Bruno. Saving sentiment Jones. Love the vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that, my friend. Um, again, it's number 532 team. I get it. You know, that's that's just how you play. Um, what I would say with this team. So, you're, you're swapping what? Sorry. Swapping Puskas and Bruno. And then you play. Okay. Um. My again, my only issue here, and you've already addressed the issue, is Dino. Base Dino, he is. Woo. He is. A, he's. A, he's stinky. He. He. He is not very good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Base Dino is, in my opinion, pretty awful. Um. You've addressed that. You know. That's why. That's probably why you could upgrade Curtis Jones. Solid upgrade, in my opinion. Uh. The rest of the team is very, very nice, mate. Um, shame he didn't do headline to have an ear, otherwise you'd be in a lovely spot right now. Uh, we've got Max's team now. Uh, he says, packed 95 Maradona on my birthday. Happy freaking birthday. 92 Maldini from mid-icon in the same day. I've got around 1.2 more to spend on upgrades. Thoughts? Mate, Maldini's insane. Um, what would you do? 1.2 mil? Huh. Quite a cool... I haven't really seen many people use this freeze right back, to be fair. Uh, good attack. I wish I did that Dabala. That's one card I wish I did that I didn't. Your issue here is that your team is in a spot where, you know, you can't really do much because chemistry is is dependent on the exact players you've got. I would say, at right centre mid, potentially going with either... If you play this exact thing in game, right, and it's exactly how it is in game, you don't play anything different in game, you play a 4-3-1-2 and you play everyone in the exact positions... I would say do do the Curtis Jones SBC at right centre mid and at right back go with uh, either Timothy Trent if you can afford him or go with Kyle Walker. Uh, and I say that because I think that Curtis Jones is solid. Obviously, it means Dybala's on 8 chemistry, but everyone else is on 10 chem. Um, and I think that'll be a really nice addition to the team. You've had insane red pick look though. Fair play for that. Uh, that's a nice team though. It's a very nice team. Uh, we've got Fiorentin's team who says, I play a 4-2-3-1 in game and the only trade was our Porto and Walker got 200k to work with. Hmm. Um, solid team. Again, it's pretty decent. Not entirely sure about Marias, but I mean, who else can you really go with there? He's playing them with Aspas still out? If he is, potentially that. I feel like he's not though. Is he, is he out or is it Nezri now? Oh, it's Nezri. That's unfortunate because that Aspas is actually pretty good as well. Um, I don't think there's really much you can do with this team at this point. Uh, again, it might just be a save job. You might just have to save some coins um, and and build onwards with maybe icons and things like that. Like if you can get like a Torres or a Butra eventually, then you're looking good. Do you know what I mean? Uh, we've got A13 plays team next. Uh, who says get Shrek? Nice. It's just a picture of his team. Uh, as I don't really know what you're working with, I can't really make too many adjustments for you. I mean, looking at this team, what would I say is a good shout? Hmm. I mean, you've got Casemiro. Could you go with someone better than Casemiro? Is there someone better than Casemiro you can go with? If there is, go with them. I My mind's gone blank for the La Liga right now. We've sent him in. So who is there? Is there good players? I actually can't think. My mind's gone completely blank with Serie midfielders. Let me know in the comments down below how you can improve that, that Casemiro, guys. Uh, we've got Henry's team. This is my first team. And starting the second team is in-game. I've got 150,000 coins liquid. And my whole team is untradeable. Keep it the good work. Road to 200k. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Much love. Uh, if you guys aren't subbed, please subscribe to the channel. Road to 200k. All right. This is what you're playing in-game. This is another, this is another 5 3 two. All right. First things first. To me, let me have a look at this Bergvines in-games. Because... 88 finishing. I would I would personally play Dybala as the uh, as the striker and Bergvine as the center mid here. I don't actually use the 5-3-2. I actually haven't tried it before. But to me, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. To me, Savage at center, center back doesn't seem like it would work. Dybala at center mid doesn't seem like it would work. I mean, this whole team, Baresi at center back doesn't seem like it would work. 
I, I don't really know what you're going for here, and I don't want to tell you to change your entire team. So if it's working, you do you, bro. Um, it looks interesting, to say the least. We've got Owen's team now. Uh, 4 4 2 in game. Bernardo Silva at right. Uh, sorry, Bernardo right. Dybala and Ronaldo ST. Magnan and Bernardo are tradable. Okay, sorry. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard to read that. Makes sense. Um, Interesting. It's a solid team, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. 550k. I mean, if Hierro is tradable, then maybe just swap out Hierro for somebody else. Like, maybe you go with, like, I don't even know. Uh, Baby Carlos Alberto. Wouldn't even get the full chemistry, but it'd be it'd be a start. Um, that's a solid team, mate. Again, again, it's not one of those teams where like it's just kind of like you know it's kind of done. It's ready for team of the season, realistically. Uh, we got Cody's team. Uh, four two four in game with Croy from Rooney up top. Tadebo is amazing. Wichard and Kozawa. Why does that look like that? Why does that look like that, man? Um, it's a solid team, bro. I've heard that Tadebo is incredible, by the way. This is why I was pushing him earlier. Um, Cami's team left no note again, so I have no idea what you're working with. Um, if, if that Shabozle is untradeable, then I understand why you forced him into the squad there. Uh, however, if he is tradable, then just sell him. You don't need to play Angelino at left back and sub somebody on just to get him on chemistry. Um, I'd also say, looking at this team, honestly, wouldn't be a bad idea to get Ferla Mendy at left back. I know. Really hard for me to recommend that. At the same time, like... You know, you could just play someone off chemistry. Um, you got Bradley Dak. Very interesting. Rooney, of course. It's a very, very strange squad, that one. Very strange. Very interesting. Uh, we've got Messi's squad. Uh, I can already see. Oh, no. Uh, so he's got uh, a place of 4 2 3 1 with a 4 4 2 in game. Uh, everyone is untradeable. Um, other than Messi, got 300k in the bank. Keep up the good work. Thank you, bro. So Messi's tradable. Yeah, I see. You've, you've, what you've done is, right? You've, you've got good base icons. You've got, you got Hullet and Ronaldo. However, it's the scuffed Hullet and the scuffed Ronaldo, which is really unfortunate, but also not at the same time because that's still sick. You've had insane pack luck. My recommendation here, I know Neuer is red. I'd just probably get a goalkeeper on chemistry. If it's working for you, it's working for you. You've had some insane pack luck though, bro. Again, not nothing else had changed really. You never want to kind of just wait until team of the season. Because when Tots hits, you get like a Tots Gravenberch or someone like that if, if he gets one. Oh, just Tots from the Dutch league over here. Uh, and then you can get like team of the season Marlon up top as well. And then you're loving life. Um, or even like Depay. You could even go... Yeah, you can go Depay up top if you really want to. Uh, depends how Messi's cutting it really. Uh, the rest of the team's nice though. Um, this one looks like it's going to be small. Oh, it's, it's actually not bad. It's, it's pretty decent size. 4-4-2 uh, in game. Mate, Zidane is class. That, that Zidane, that's one That's one that I really want from the base orbit icon. I would love a Zidane. Zidane is absolute class. And I wish, I wish, I wish I could pack him. Because he's absolutely nuts. Um, that's a class team though. Milinkovic Savic is really decent. Red Ben Yedder, you know. Don't respect it, but I understand it. Um, it's a solid team, bro. It's a solid team. Uh, we have got uh, Huey's team now. This is my team after the first weekend league. 4 2 one slash 4 2 in game. And I rarely play the 5-3-2 as well. Uh, in game, Cancelo goes right back. James goes center back. And Jones goes into the midfield. Uh, currently won't have coins to improve. So looking for long-term improvements. I respect it, bro. Um, guys, Jones is starting his seat. Mate, some of you lot start your teams in a wild way. Um, What would I say to do? Honestly, not a whole lot of this team. You, I would probably recommend it, realistically, trying to start a different formation and then starting, like, Cancelo at centre-back and then freeing up another midfield spot for somebody else. Solid team, but, yeah, it's, it's another one where it's, like, very interesting. If you guys have recommendations in the comments, please, please, please let him know. Uh, next one is Lasty's team. Uh, this is what he said. He's got, uh, you know, he's got Joe Hart and goal company and... Uh, Sergio Ramos, he's got Marcelo and Kyle Walker uh, right back. You know, Kyle Walker's messy. You don't need to use him realistically. He's got Ozil, Kaka and Yaya Torre, Ben Arthur, Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, what I would say, that midfield is a bit attacking. I would say maybe to the Kaka, uh, you can go with uh, a different midfielder. You can go with the likes of Luka Modric. You can go with the likes of Tony Cruz's uh, Team of the Season card as well. Um, both would be pretty solid to go with there. Uh, Benzema is all right, but I think you can go with a better option there as well. Um, you know, you've got the likes of uh, Lissandro Lopez, who's fantastic on FIFA, FIFA 12. Um, you've got the likes of you know, a whole host of different players. Uh, I do think that Fergie as the manager was the shout, though. Uh, so I do respect that. Uh, just try not to spend as many FIFA points, Tom, mate. Like, you, you, it's clearly paid to win. 
it's quite disgusting. I don't I don't respect it, all right? I've got no respect for you as a player to just pay to win like that. Um, and clearly, you don't know chemistry because apparently Ben Arthur's on full chemistry there, but you've clearly Photoshopped that, so whatever, dude. Uh, Bub Lads asked me to put his uh, tweet in there, so there you go. Hope you're happy, has, mate. This is James's team. Everyone, uh, untradeable, 50 to 70,000 coins for upgrades. Really enjoying your videos and streams, and congrats on the weight loss. Thank you very much, brother. Appreciate that, man. Uh, yeah, go right back, Dallo, if he's not untradeable. Um, if he's tradable, get right back down. If not, I understand you don't spend the money on the right back one. You don't need to. I respect the Tadebo uh, link to our war. I didn't even think about that. That's a really good link, actually. Um, I'm trying to think what else you can do. Don't really see an outlet where you can make a change at the minute elsewhere. In future, though, you could potentially look to get the new storyline right back. I forget who it is and get him on eight chemistry. Ronaldo stays on full chem. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, we have got Evan's team next, who says, everyone is untradeable. I have quite a good bit of fodder for SBC, and I will have about 100,000 coins on Thursday. Solid. That's a nice untradeable team, mate. Um, if we don't get any player SBC over the next week, maybe an icon SBC, maybe the likes of Cannavaro for Joe Gomez, maybe someone like that might be a decent shout. I'm almost certain as well, you might be able to play a different formation in game and get a full chemistry, but I'm not 100% sure on that. If anyone in the comments does have any suggestions for that, let them know. Um, but yeah, solid team. Maddie FC. Hey, that's me. <laughs> Alex's team next. He says, uh, this is my team. All incredible thing. And again, Tadebo is a Varane just for a change. It's a boring Varane. Mate, no offense, right? I don't mean this offensively, but you're playing a 5-3-2. Don't act like Varane's boring to you, bro. You're playing a 5-3-2. I don't want to hear it. Anyway, uh, this is his team. And it's a really nice team as well. That's the thing. It's a really nice team. Um, you know, you've got really nice players. I'm wondering if you can get... No, you can't get full cam on, on Curtis Jones there. Um, loving the hyperlink, though, with Neymar there. Um, it's a solid team, mate. It's a solid team. Uh, but don't talk to me about boring of a run when you're rocking a 5-3-2, Alex. All right? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, we've got Daniel's team. Davies is the only tradable. I play 4-3-3-2 in-game. Have 400k spare. Got to get the best icon pack from the next swaps. I respect that. Keep up the good work. Been loving the content lately. Thank you very much, Daniel. Appreciate it, man. Uh, this is what his team is currently looking like. Um, I mean, it's a decent team, to be fair. What I would say with this team... Um, let me have a quick look. 400k spare. I'm thinking you can do something different on this right side. Hmm. Comments, if you have a suggestion, he's got... I think he's got Kulisevsky on tradable. Um, you know, I'm just thinking, like... You can maybe go Kulisevsky over in this right wing spot. And go someone Brazilian over that right wing spot as well. There's a few different options you can go with there. But, uh, but I think we're going to end the video off there. Um, hopefully, you guys did enjoy the first I-rated teams back in a very long time. If you did, please smash that like button down below. And subscribe if you guys are new around here. It's all very much appreciated. Thank you all for the epic support on the channel. Subscribe to the second channel as well. I might be posting Wednesday episodes of I-rated teams there. And I'll see you later.